good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalikon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen. Alright, we have to draw a rectangular hyperbola having a point on the curve 18 millimeters from the vertical asymptote and 76 millimeters from the horizontal asymptote. Alright, to actually uh, tackle this problem as displayed on the screen, the very first step is to produce a thin horizontal line like this. Okay, then I'm going to uh, produce a vertical line perpendicular to that horizontal line in this manner also like this, as you can see on the screen. So I'm going to call this as my mark, what my mark O, my mark O. Alright, so we are told that we have 18 millimeters from the vertical asymptote. So what does that imply? So from the junction of mark O here, I'm going to measure what 18 millimeters, which is this. So with that 18 millimeters, I'm going to draw it what vertically, vertically, like this faintly, like that. Okay. So then on the horizontal asymptote, I'm having distance of what 76 millimeters so from this mark oh i'm measuring a mark of 76 mm which is this okay that's it over there and i'm going to produce that also horizontally horizontally like this okay so wherever our vertical and horizontal asymptotes meet we denote it as point what point p that's our point p so what is the next procedure so this will be my mark a and this will be what mark what mark b as you can see on the screen okay let me actually extend this vertical asymptote a little bit okay yeah all right so the next procedure is i'm going to actually use the division of line principle okay i'm going to divide the distance between b to p into uh four equal apps so i'm going to do that right now so you can i'm going to do that offline so if you can't divide into equal apps using the division line principle kindly check the link under the description below all right all right so yeah that is it so this will be my mark one two and three so that is that on the vertical asymptote so on the original asymptote i'm going to divide the distance between a and p into four equal halves also i'm going to do that offline so if you don't know how to divide it into equal halves a line into equal halves kindly check the description under the link below all right okay so i've divided this also into four equal halves so this will be my mark one two and what and three so what is the next procedure right now so the next procedure is to actually pick my ruler so from mark zero, I'm going to draw through each of those points on the vertical asymptote first. So from mark zero towards mark one, okay, I'm going to draw faintly. All right, so this is where it touches the vertical asymptote. So from zero to mark two also, I'm going to what? draw faintly. This is where it touches the vertical asymptote. Then from zero to what? mark three also, so that's quite high right so yeah it touches our vertical attitude somewhere at the top here sorry my camera didn't actually capture that but you are going to actually see that on your notes on your uh, drawing sheet okay so on the horizontal asymptote from mark zero to align it to point three here i what i drew okay so mark zero to mark two faintly i draw Okay, then from mark zero to mark one, faintly I want I draw. So let me deal with the bottom part first of all. Okay, the bottom part first of all. So now what I'm going to do is this. This is the next step. All right. So from where uh, our projections touches this horizontal line, I'm going to bring them down vertically, faintly. Okay, vertically, but faintly. So on mark three, faintly, vertically on mark two faintly vertically on mark one faintly vertically okay so after doing that so my mark theory right here i'm going to draw it horizontally faintly till it intersects you see this is for what mark theory mark theory horizontal and vertical this is where they actually what intersect okay 
So likewise, Mark 2. Mark 2, horizontal vertical intersect right here. Okay, then my Mark 1, horizontal vertical intersect here, right here. Okay, so likewise, uh, on the vertical and simplex, uh, Mark 1, I will draw it out faintly, horizontally, Mark 2. I'm going to draw that out faintly, horizontally, then Mark 3. I will draw that out faintly, horizontally. So after doing that, the next procedure is so on my mark one on the vertical as input right here on my mark one right here okay i'm going to project that vertically vertically like this like this so where it intersects my horizontal line of mark one i would i asterisk that so for mark two mark two okay i'm going to draw for mark two this way it intersects it horizontal line forward for mark two as you can see on the screen right there okay so for mark three this is it i draw all the way so this way it intersects forward for mark three so the next procedure is to pick your irregular curve and join each of those points okay passing through point p yeah it must pass through point p on its way out down to the bottom here okay down to the bottom here it must pass through those points okay Okay, I've joined this bottom part, so it remains uh, this other part to the top right here. So from the top here, down there, alright? Okay, and that is the curve right there from the top, okay, down to the bottom right there. So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer this video to your friends who might be in need of it. My name remains Oluwatunbi Blessing, or La Lekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Thank you. Oh,